welcome to the video by DJ SBRC. Today, what I wanted to show is how to remove your spur out of your slash 4x4. Uh, it could be the ultimate version, could be just a slash 4x4 normal. Um, very simple. We just need a 2 mil to remove the physical uh, spur gear cover. Now on this one here, it is clear, but usually on the slash or black, there is a two mil screw right here. We're just gonna grab our screwdriver in the corner to pop this guy out. Sometimes they are a little bit stubborn. Once you accomplish this, you will need the 2.5 mil to remove this one and this one right here, these two screws. Now you can use a physical drill if you wanted to, to do this because they are bolted down to the physical bulkhead but they're not super long screws. Move this one here too. Put those aside. Now what we're going to do, we're going to flip the vehicle upside down. You will have this one and this one to remove too. There we go. <clears throat> and once you have these two removed, a total of four, what you're going to do, you're going to start wiggling the back end of the vehicle until it separates itself. Take this part, just pop it aside. And now we have our, our spur here and you just need to physically just pull on it. Sometimes it will hang because of the bearing I'm going to confirm here my bolt. I don't think that's what's preventing me from taking it out. But let's not take a chance here. On the center where your dry shaft is, there is a bolt for your dry shaft, center dry shaft. I'm going to remove it. Sometimes if it's not completely screwed in, it can prevent you from taking it out. And unfortunately, that was the case for me. Take this shaft out. Basically what was happening here, this screw was not screwed in completely in. And it was just a little bit of a catching point to the bearing. Make sure to tighten it all the way in and you have your spur in your hands here. Now Traxxas does sell a completely rebuilt spur. You can just do a fast swap, pop it in and you're off to the races. Or basically you can dismantle this guy, change out your, uh, your, your spur and put it back in. Make sure your dry shaft's back in. Take your, see this one here doesn't want to go in all the way. Could be because there's dirt in it. But what I'm going to do is put it back in this way like that. Gonna turn the vehicle to rotate the front wheels. Put my screw back and make sure it's on the flat spot. And then once this is back, I grab my back end of my vehicle. 
insert it. You have to make sure here show you what I mean in a second here. Make sure your dry shaft is in keyed inside. In the back here, you'll notice there's a hole. This is inside of this, of your diff, it is keyed. But when you insert it, you have to make sure you try to insert the key at the same time and make sure it's underneath this lip. Sometimes you could be lucky, like I just got lucky. It inserted itself perfectly. If it doesn't, there's another way you can do it is by holding it, flipping it, and turning the front end at the same time. What's going to happen is going to make the dry shaft turn make the spur turn and the key eventually will key itself, key itself in the hole and you'll feel the completely back end interlock. And then you just need to put your screws back. I'm just gonna, for the video right now, I'm just gonna put one just to keep it together. And then you put your cap back screw in your cap. Now some slashes uh, will have a plastic cover here that covers your drive shaft. And the reason this vehicle here right now doesn't have it is because before I removed it, if you don't know if you can notice, the center drive shaft is supposed to be completely blue. What happens, there is a hole in front here, the rocks would come in gouge a dry shaft and work its way around it. I never put them back on. Simple reason, if there's a rock that goes in, it will start bouncing in the body and bounce outside the vehicle. Because if not, I find after a while it gouges the dry shaft, next thing you know, your dry shaft breaks and you need repairs. That's one reasoning why I don't put the uh, cover back on the dry shaft. I do put it where the spur is because I don't want a rock to go between the spur and the pinion and damage something and really prevent me from running. Now, if you guys have any questions or comment, post them below. I'd be gladly to answer you guys. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate it a lot and does help a lot. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.